Hi, this is Sylvia from Magic Plan and in today's video we're gonna see together how to use Magic Plan the very first time right after you downloaded the app from your Google Play Store or in my case from the App Store. We tap on open and voila, we are on our main page. We have a demo project, we can take a look at it. First of all, the app will ask you what are you interested in. If you know, you can select the option, otherwise you can say, I'm not sure yet. And I want to use Magic Plan as a hobby at my workspace for education, or also I'm not sure, I will say at my workspace. And you can also say, okay, I'm specialized in, let's say remodeling and I usually work alone. Okay, great. Now we have our project and we can take a look at it and see what we would be able to create in our app. But let's go back to the main page. If we go here in my account, we can log in if we already have a Magic Plan account. Otherwise, we can create an account. We can insert an email and a password and we sign up. We agree with terms of service. We can say save password, so we're automatically logged in the next time. And here we can personalize our account. We can upload our picture, we can set up our first name, last name, the phone number, as well as change the email and update our password. If we want, we can turn on the option product update, so you will get an email per month saying what new features are going to be launched, for example. Otherwise, if you don't want to get emails, you just leave it off. And you also have the option delete account here on the bottom. So if you click on it, just pay attention because then everything that is in your account will be deleted too. In company profile, you can upload your company logo. You can put all the contact info that you need and you can of course set up the address. So everything will be visible on your PDFs, for example. And if you wish, you can also upload your own watermark and it will be on your projects too. In subscription then, you will have a free plan once you start using the app. So you can take a look at it here and you can decide if you want to upgrade and decide if you want to purchase one of our paid plans. Otherwise, you can use Magic Plan with all the features for free. You will just have two projects. And then you can take a look here in help and support. Also, if you're not sure how to get started or if you're looking for a specific feature, you can visit our help center here on the top. You will see this blue toggle. There you will find a lot of articles and videos explaining everything or you can also decide to contact us directly, it's absolutely fine. You can also report a bug. If you think that you found a bug in your app, then you're more than welcome to let us know here directly. Or if you want to suggest a feature, you think that something is missing and you really need that feature, please feel free to add it here and we will get a notification. In app references, then you can set up the units so you can decide if you want to use Magic Plan in metric or imperial with feet and inches. And you can also decide where you want to save your photos. So if you want to make local copies or if you're happy saving the photos in your Magic Plan cloud, then cloud backup. If it's turned on, like in my case, like this, then everything you do in Magic Plan, every change that you do to a project will be automatically saved in the Magic Plan cloud. If you switch it off, then you have to save what you do in your projects manually in order to have it saved as a backup in the cloud. I normally leave it on so that I'm sure that everything will be there. Then you can also decide to connect automatically to wireless FLIR cameras if you're using some FLIR camera. And you can also decide here, if you are on an iOS device, to disable the wall mode while you are scanning your rooms using LiDAR. Otherwise, you can leave it like this. Then let's go back here in our setting page. In privacy, then you will see the privacy policies. Everything is up to date and safe there, so you can read it without any pressure. You can then rate the app. 
or share the app with friends if you're happy with Magic Plan. We hope so. And you can also log out here from this toggle. And last interesting note, here on the bottom, you will see the app version that you're using so that you're always up to date. We always recommend to be on the latest version of the app so that everything works flawlessly. Here you have the toggle talk to sales in the middle, as you can see here on my tablet. If you want to talk to our sales team, of course, you can send us a year request. And here on your project page, once you tap on the blue plus, you can start creating your very first project. And then if you have more projects lately, they will be saved in the cloud. You will see them in device and cloud and you will be able to download them from here. If you're on device, you will see only the projects that have been created on this specific device. And here where you say X, Y, Z, this is the workspace where you're currently in. It is created automatically, but if you create more workspaces later, then they will be listed here and you can switch the workspace simply there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.